Hi guys, this is Fifth Channel, True Reviews with Jane Smith. And today we will take a closer look at the Canadian brand Sorel. Let's find all the pros and cons that our experts managed to collect. Let's learn more about the quality of the offered product. And let's analyze whether this brand is as good as it's advertised. So let's start. The Canadian brand Sorel is known to many fashionistas and professional athletes as a manufacturer of high quality and durable shoes that will withstand any tests and loads. The history of the Sorel brand began in 1908. The brand was founded by William H. Kaufman Incorporated, which has built a reputation as a manufacturer of durable and waterproof footwear. In 1962, the Sorrel brand was the first to launch shoes with a combined leather upper and rubber sole. The sole was made of vulcanized rubber by hand. Another feature of these shoes is a removable felt insole. It was these shoes that became not only popular but iconic and laid the foundation for the production of curry boot and pack boots. After analyzing a large number of reviews, our experts found both positive and negative ones. For example, a user on Trustpilot.com with the nickname Don Ismay was not happy. Tried to make a PayPal payment for Sorrel Boots through SorrelFootwear.co.uk, but I was asked to enter my credit card details, which I never had with PayPal, so I cancelled the transaction. He brought me back to the site in Colombia. Extremely cunning for me, so my advice to others is to stay safe, stay away. Another customer under the name Amy also left a negative review. I bought a pair of shoes, tried them on at home, but they were too small, so I returned them within the return window. Sorrel claimed that I wore them outdoors, although they did not, there was no trace and refused to return the money to me. But the user under the nickname Rick Winkle was pleased. Nice looking, warm and comfortable slippers. Now the Sorrel brand is owned by the well-known large outdoor clothing and footwear company Columbia Sportwear and they know a lot about technology and quality of production. Of course, the warmth of shoes and clothes is a very subjective thing and depends on many factors. There are, however, certain indicators by which we can determine with a certain degree of probability the average warmth of shoes. First of all, this is the weight of the insulation as well as its material. For these purposes, Sorrel shoes use synthetic felt and thin insulate insulation or its analogs, which are very thin microfibers about one-tenth of the thickness of a human hair, capable of retaining retaining a large amount of air inside themselves at a minimum thickness, which, as we know, it keeps the heat best. The liners of the warmest sorrel boots are traditionally made from felt. Synthetic insulation is actively used in lighter urban models. In addition, the Canadian company indicates the maximum temperature of their use on many of its models. So, for example, for sorrel caribou boots, it is minus 40 degrees, and for women Whitney, it is minus 32 degrees. As you can see, Canadians have something to be proud of here. Their shoes are really designed to withstand the coldest temperatures. What they you walk in them under sleet, rain, step into puddles, disembark from a boat in the shallow water, your feet should remain dry. In sorrel shoes, a membrane is responsible for this, a thin film of waterproof material hidden between the top layer and the inner lining. It does not allow moisture to pass from the outside, but almost does not interfere with the passage of excess heat coming from your feet. The legs breathe and at the same time do not freeze, and the inside of the boots remains dry. To prevent water from penetrating through the connecting seams, they are all glued from the inside with a special film. In the classic Sorrel models designed for the most severe conditions of use, the bottom is generally a single sealed rubber overshoe. In order for you to evaluate the entire range of products of the store, we will leave you a link to the official website Sorrel.com. To facilitate the task of selection in the company Sorrel, in the description of each model, there is information about the extreme weather conditions in which it can be used without fear of damage. The gradation is quite simple, casual or the most common urban conditions. Light rain, light rainy weather, heavy rain, showers, light snow, small snow and heavy snow, normal, such blizzards with snow drifts, ice and other winter delights. The durability of Sorrel footwear also strongly depends on the material and manufacturing technology. So, for example, the best upper part of the leather sheet is the whole grain leather from which the upper of the Cheyenne boots is made, a very durable material that is resistant to abrasion and any weather conditions. The same applies to the specially treated waterproof nabak used in the Caribou. 
but a sweet upper of the Riley boots, although it is also treated with a water repellent compound, requires a more careful attitude. If we talk about the wear resistance of the sole, then Sorrel use vulcanized rubber in almost all of their models. Such rubber is highly resistant to abrasion and is not afraid of the corrosive effect of soles. Weight is an important factor. No one wants to carry extra pounds on their feet even in winter. Sorrel followed the path of separation here. The traditional boots of this company designed for the lowest temperature and tough operation cannot please their owners with their low weight. A pair of classic Curry Boo in size 42 EU weighs about 1.8 kilos. Exceptional warmth, durability and convenience come at a price. However, purely urban Canadian boots made with extensive use of modern materials and technologies weigh very little. So a pair of women's Whitney with a high bootleg on the scales shows an optimistic 780 grams per pair and the same model in a low boot version shows 636 grams at all, which you must agree is not enough for winter shoes. For not so tough guys and of course ladies, Sorrel offers a wide selection of not at all heavy models that have many positive qualities of classic winter boots, which however weigh an order of magnitude less. Your winter shoes should also be comfortable. What can Sorrel offer you to make our feet feel good and comfortable? First of all, in many of their models, Canadians use a material called ethylene vinyl acetate, or EVA for short, for cushioning. The midsole of this cured synthetic foam is excellent at absorbing the shock of walking on hard surfaces such as asphalt, paving, slabs, rocks, ice and packed snow. EVA foam has been used for many years by manufacturers of running shoes, playing sports where the load on the joints and muscles is many times greater than during normal walking. The last of almost all sorrel boots is wide and comfortable, well suited for any even problematic fit. The fingers are inside the uncompressed, anatomically correct position. This is important not only in terms of stability and geometry, but also which is very important for winter boots in terms of heat saving. There should all always be a small free space inside such shoes to create a heating air gap. Plus, boots for frosty weather should in no case squeeze your legs anywhere and interfere with blood circulation. The lining of sorrel boots is usually made of soft materials such as micro fleece, wool or synthetic felt. Such a lining prevents the appearance of cones and abrasions and at the same time it is itself resistant to abrasion. So guys, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.